This is the Music History Today podcast for July 2nd. On today's show, the Live 8 concerts take place, Elvis records two classics, and a riot breaks out at a Guns N' Roses concert. First up, though, on this date in 1918, jazz legend Duke Ellington married his wife, Edna Thompson. In 1955, the Lawrence Welk TV show premiered. In 1956, Elvis Presley recorded the classic songs Hound Dog and Don't Be Cruel. In 1958, Elvis Presley's movie King Creole opened in movie theaters. In 1962, Jimi Hendrix was honorably discharged from the United States Army. In 1963, Barbara Streisand played Las Vegas for the first time as Liberace's opening act. In 1964, gospel singer Mahalia Jackson married her husband, Sigmund Galloway. In 1967, Rick Nelson's TV show Malibu U premiered. In 1969, Barbara Streisand started her month-long mini-residency at the International Hotel in Las Vegas. In 1973, Brian Eno left Roxy Music. In 1976, Tina Turner left Ike Turner. In 1980, Sheena Easton, who wasn't famous at this point, was part of a BBC television show about artists trying to make it big called The Big Time. Two months later, Sheena's first single, 9 to 5 Morning Train, made her big in Great Britain. In 1980, same day, Mickey Hart and Bob Weir of the Grateful Dead were arrested for trying to break up a drug bust by inciting a riot. Yeah, that'll usually get you arrested. In 1986, Prince's movie Under the Cherry Moon was released. The movie co-starred a then-unknown actress named Kristen Scott Thomas, who went on to have an Academy Award-winning career. In 1990, the group Tesla recorded an acoustic concert in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania that became their album Five Man Acoustical Jam. In 1991, a riot broke out at a Guns N' Roses concert in St. Louis, Missouri, when Axl Rose cut a concert short after seeing someone taking photos. Also in 1991, Ice Cube's movie Boys in the Hood premiered in movie theaters. In 1994, Billy Joe Armstrong married his wife, Adrienne Nesser. In 2005, the Live 8 concerts, a sequel of sorts to Live Aid, took place to raise money and to bring awareness to poverty. We go more in-depth on this particular issue, among many others, on the Music History In-Depth podcast, which drops today, if you're listening to this on July 2nd, but after 7 o'clock in the evening. Eastern Standard Time, I should say. Meanwhile, in 2007, entertainer Wayne Brady divorced dancer Mandy Takeda. And in 2014, Jewel announced that she was divorcing rodeo cowboy Ty Murray. In classical music in 1900, the classical piece Finlandia from Jean Sibelius premiered in theater. In 1949, the Broadway show High Button Shoes closed. In 1960, the musical Once Upon a Mattress closed on Broadway. In 1972, the musical Fiddler on the Roof closed on Broadway. And in 1989, the musical Serafina closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on July 2nd, in 2001, Liverpool, England's airport was renamed after John Lennon. Albums that were released on July 2nd include in 1965 when the Jazz Crusaders released Chili Con Sol. In 1966, the Jazz Crusaders were at it again, this time releasing Live at Newport. In 1979, Neil Young and Crazy Horse released their classic Russ Never Sleeps. In 1981, Foreigner released their popular album Foreigner 4. In 1982, Elvis Costello and the Attractions released Imperial Bedroom. In 1984, The Time released Ice Cream Castle. In 1984, same day, Depeche Mode released People Are People. In 1985, Carly Simon released Spoiled Girl. In 1986, Lyle Lovett released his self-titled album. In 1990, Devo released Smooth Noodle Maps. In 1991, Alice Cooper released Hey Stupid, Crowded House released Woodface, Chris Whitley released Living with the Law, and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released Into the Great Wide Open. 
1992, David Bowie and Tin Machine released Tin Machine Live Oy Vey, baby. In 1993, Glenn Fry released Glenn Fry Live. In 1996, Asia released Arena. Blues Traveler released Live from the Fall. And Neil Young with Crazy Horse released Broken Arrow. In 2001, David Gray released the EPs 1992 to 1994. In 2002, Little River Band released One Night in Mississippi. Aerosmith released Oh Yeah! Ultimate Aerosmith Hits. And Kansas released The Ultimate Kansas. In 2009, the Dave Matthews Band released Big Whiskey and the Grugrug King. In 2010, Kylie Minogue released Aphrodite. In 2012, the Rolling Stones released Live at the Checkerboard Lounge, Chicago, 1981. And also on that same day, Duran Duran released A Diamond in the Mind, Live 2011. Singles that were released on July 2nd include, in 1961, when the Drifters released Sweets for My Sweet. In 1965, the Yardbirds released Heart Full of Soul. In 1966, the Capitals released Cool Jerk, and the Rolling Stones did a twofer. They released Mother's Little Helper and Lady Jane. In 1973, Grand Funk Railroad released We're an American Band. In 1977, Donna Summer released I Feel Love. In 1978, Donna Summer released Last Dance off the Thank God It's Friday soundtrack. In 1984, Cyndi Lauper released Shebop, which was banned in some spots because of the subject matter for Shebop, which I'm not going to tell you. You'll have to figure it out on your own. Anyway, also in 1984, Laura Branigan released The Lucky One. And in 1986, Metallica released their classic, Master of Puppets. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on July 2nd include rapper Saweetie, singer Jenny Rivera, Dave Parsons of Transvision Vamp and also the group Bush, Mick Anchor of the Blow Monkeys, rapper Moni Love, singer and actress Ashley Tisdale, singer-songwriter Michelle Branch, singer and actress Lindsay Lohan, Paul Williams of The Temptations, Roy Bitten of The E Street Band, Pete Briquet of The Boomtown Rats, Johnny Cola of Huey Lewis and the News, singer Leapy Lee, Tom Springfield of The Springfields, Opera singer Christoph Willibald Gluck, singer Ruth B, singer William Singe, reggae singer Burna Boy, singer Sebastian Javier, Jeff Wigginton of the Water Parks, rapper Stunna Girl, rapper Vince Staples, DJ Tom Zanetti, singer Olivia Kay, and band leader Jack Hilton. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 2nd include in 1591 when composer Vincenzo Gallieri passed away at the age of 71. Composer Thomas Selly passed away in 1663 at the age of 64. Composer Franz Pokerny passed away in 1794 at the age of 65. Composer Francois Bazin passed away in 1878 at the age of 61. Composer William Rockstro passed away in 1895 at the age of 72. Composer and conductor Felix Modo passed away in 1911 at the age of 54. Composer Bertram Shapley passed away in 1940 at the age of 69. Cellist and composer Henriette Bossmans passed away in 1952 at the age of 56. Composer Edward Ballantin passed away in 1971 at the age of 84. Entertainer extraordinaire Miss Betty Grable passed away from cancer in 1973 at the age of 56. 
composer Poole Olson passed away in 1982 at the age of 59. Composer Ramiro Cortez passed away in 1984 at the age of 50. Jazz saxophonist Eddie Cleanhead Vinson passed away in 1988 at the age of 70. Singer Snooky Lanson passed away in 1990 at the age of 76. Violinist Edith Valkert passed away from cancer in 1992 at the age of 42. Flamenco singer Cameron de la Isla passed away in 1992 at the age of 41. Gospel singer Marion Williams passed away from diabetes in 1994 at the age of 66. Jazz bassist Ray Brown passed away in 2002 at the age of 75. Composer Earl Brown passed away in 2002 at the age of 75. Opera legend Beverly Sills passed away in 2007 at the age of 78. Entertainer Git Gay passed away in 2007 at the age of 85. Musician Natasha Schneider passed away in 2008 at the age of 52. Composer and jazz pianist Bengt Halberg passed away in 2013 at the age of 80. Musician Slavko Avsenik passed away in 2015 at the age of 75. Alan Longmuir of the Bay City Rollers passed away in 2018 at the age of 70. Composer Michael Colgrass passed away in 2019 at the age of 81. Jazz pianist Nikolai Kaputstin passed away in 2020 at the age of 82, and jazz pianist Elliot Lawrence passed away in 2021 at the age of 96. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 3rd, when two 60s rock legends unfortunately joined the 27 Club. 